Recall that the stress at y equals minus m times y over i. The maximum stress occurs at the fiber furthest from the neutral axis, y max. In the T-beam shown here, y max is the distance to the bottom fiber. We have added absolute value signs because we are concerned with magnitude only. We call the absolute value of y max c and substitute it into the equation. Note that we treat the moment as being positive and calculate a positive maximum stress to give maximum stress equals m times c over i. In design, we often know the moment that a beam must carry and the maximum allowable stress for its material. Putting known quantities on the left of the equal sign gives m over sigma max equals i over c. Both i and c are properties of the beam cross-section. We must choose a beam that has a large enough ratio of i to c to match the ratio of moment to maximum stress. This ratio is called the elastic section modulus and is denoted by the letter s. Values of s are normally included in tables that list the cross-sectional properties of standard structural shapes.